All right, guys, today I am working on a, looks like a 2015 Dodge 2500. The 4x4 shifter is real loose on this thing. See, it's not even trying to grab, so I'm gonna crawl up underneath the truck from about right here. You know, kind of imagine you a straight line, just get up underneath the truck and try to find the other end of this shifter. So, I'm gonna get under there now. Okay, guys, this was the other end of the shifter. See how it's just loose? That's what, that's the bottom part of it. And it looks like this piece has come out of it. So all you gotta do is just slide that little nipple part back in it. And I reckon it comes with some kind of clip, but I'm just gonna get me a some baylon wire or a clothes hanger and wrap it up around this little nipple part. Around that little nipple part and try to secure it that way. But that's all it is right there, man. Looks like somebody already repaired that other side. That's the part that, that engages your four by four. Just the extra shaft. That goes in, turns your wheels. But yeah, that's all it is right there, man. That piece right there. And you can probably, if this piece comes out completely, you can probably just find like a hollow tube Get your clothes hanger, make a loop on one end and a loop on the other. Twist it together and then get another piece of clothes hanger and tie it to this. As long as it's hooked, as long as it hooks up to this part, to your shifter right there. As long as you can make them to shift, I think you can, you can rig it up, man. There we go is all tight and if that if this ever gives on you and you're still in four by four and if you can't rig it up somehow all you have to do is put your emergency brake on put it in neutral and uh you can get if you want to risk it you can get under there and shift that one lever with the with the screwdriver or, or tap it with a hammer all you gotta do is, is find two h and get yourself off off a four by four and then uh Come back in here and put it back in gear, see if you're on 2H or if you're still in 4x4, then get back under there and start all over until you find a sweet spot and then you can drive it on in and get it repaired. But if you do try to do that yourself, you might want to be careful because there's a hot muffler down there and that other shaft is turning. But yeah, I recommend just taking it in and getting it repaired, man. Unless you have a buddy with you that they can watch your back. But anyways, good luck.